In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a macro using sample source code you may have found on the internet. Here's a little bit of source code that takes a file whenever it's saved and it saves it like normal, but if it's a drawing, it will also save it as a PDF. To start off with, I'm going to copy this to my clipboard. Next, I need to create a new macro. So I'll select Tools, Macro, New. Always give the macro an appropriate name. Save and create PDF. It comes up with some default code. You can replace all of this with the code on the clipboard. Once that code is inserted, it's done. The method here is main, and the module is named what I called it, save and create PDF. When I save this, I'll close, and I'll create a button to work with this. To create the button, right click on the title bar and select customize. Customize is not available unless you have a drawing or part or assembly open. So to start off with, I will open one of those. Now I will right click, customize, commands, macro, and drag this button up and I'll put it right next to the save button. This is where I created it, save and create PDF. The reason why I mentioned the module and method names is because that's what here. If you have code that has more than one, you'll have to select it from this list. You can override the image. This is the default. Now I click OK and close this and my button is here. Because I've never saved this drawing, when I click it, a save brings up the save dialog. Now, if I browse to that same folder, I can call this draw3, save, and a PDF was created. So if I click open, I see the PDF, the drawing, and the macro file. To override the hotkeys, I can use the customize dialog as well. If I right click here, customize, keyboard, and I scroll all the way down to the bottom, my macro will be here. So I can use my shortcut, Control S. Control S is already assigned to save, so I'm overriding it. If I hit yes, I'm giving it the same functionality, but whenever I save a drawing, it also saves a PDF. This step is optional, but it is useful to set hotkeys for macros.